Hi everyone. This video walks through completing packet tracer assignment 4.2.2.3, Troubleshooting Ether Channel. This packet tracer assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Scaling Networks version 6 curriculum. Now in this lab assignment, uh, we have Ether Channel configured. We've got six port channels. So it looks like they're combining each each of the two ports connected to the other two ports on each switch to combine them together. Some are gigabit, some are fast ethernet, so we're either going to be operating at 200 megabits per second with the two fast ethernets aggregated together or two gigabits per second with the two gigabit interfaces aggregated together. We've got a total of six port channels going because we got a lot of redundancy going on here. Basically each switch is connected to three other switches. Um, but we too know that automatically we want all of them to be in trunking mode. So if you do a show run, that's kind of the first thing it tells you to check. So we'll do something like simple, show run. We notice that we've got ports 21 through 24 for FA0, 21 through 24 use, G01 and G02 use. They're all in trunking, so that's good. Let's go over to S2 and check. We've got them all in access mode. That is wrong. So we want to change that, right? So FA021 through 24 and G01 and 2. And we can use the interface range command for that. Switch port mode trunk. So we want to make sure we make those changes to those uh, six ports there. All at the same time. Now let's go over to S3, make sure they're correct, 21, 22, 23, 24, G01 and G02 are all in trunking mode, so that's good, and S4, One, 22, 23, 24, 01, 02, all in trunking mode. So that's also good. All right, so we made the only fix we needed to there. Now the next fix is we're going to look for each port channel. So we'll look for to see if each port channel is in the correct mode. It tells you that you need to have all of them in a uh, LACP, right? So no PAGP is being used here at all. So we got to make sure that they are either in mode active or mode passive for them to negotiate LACP. Remember the other modes are not going to negotiate that. So if you even look here like S1, if we do, and we're going to check attack on port channel by port channel. So let's start with one. That's between S1 and S3. So we do a show ether channel summary. We see port channel one or group one port channel one is layer two is down so something's wrong with the other end possibly because it is an LACP and it's aggregated G01 and G02 so let's go over to S3 show ether channel summary group one port channel one is down but you notice why it's in PAGP it's not an LACP must be in the same mode on each end. Um, so let's look at a show run one more time and see what mode they put G01 and 2 in. G01 and 2 is in desirable mode. That is actively trying to um, negotiate with somebody that is in PAGP, not LACP. So we got to change that. On S1's end, you notice G01 and 2 are in active mode. So on the other end, we could put them in passive or we could put them in active for it to work. But we first got to clear out the old stuff. So how do we clear out the old stuff on um, S3? So we will go to configuration mode. I'm going to do a no interface port channel one. Okay. So I cleared out port channel one altogether. Now I'm going to go back into the range, and it is important that you do this in a correct order, otherwise things won't renegotiate correctly. Channel group one mode active. So we're going to put it in active mode so um, it can negotiate with LACP, creating port channel one, interface port channel one. 
So now we'll do a no shut to turn it on and then interface port channel one. Okay. So first we did no port interface port channel one. We didn't even go into the interface range yet. We just did that to clear out the port channel altogether. Okay. So you got to do that first when you're deleting it out. Then we're going to go into the range, do channel group one mode active. Remember the modes are what is important there. Then do a no shut to turn them on. And then I group them together, interface port channel one. Okay, now as it's negotiating up there, I'm going to fast forward time. Okay, and now let's do a show, sorry, do show ether channel summary. Now you see it is in LACP and it is up. So we've got everything working correctly like we want it to now. Okay, so that's awesome. Now let's try to tackle port channel 2. Where's port channel 2 at? That's between S2 and S4. So let's look at both ends. Do show ether channel summary. Uh, port channel 2, LACP, G0, 1, and 2. That's correct. Let's look at the mode they're in. G0, 1, and 2 are both in active mode. Okay, that's fine. Now let's look at switch four. Show ether channel summary. Port channel two is in LACP, G01 and G02. Show run. We notice G01 and G02 are in active mode. That's good. So nothing to really worry about there. These may be orange because STP is blocking them. So we'll handle that later. All right, now where's port channel three at? That's between S1 and S2. So let's go to S1. Show Ether Channel Summary. All right, port channel three, LACP, FA0, 23, and 24. So you not only want to check the mode, but you want to make sure the ports are in the right group in port channel. Now let's go to S2, because that's the other end. Do show Ether Channel Summary. Uh, port channel three, LACP is up, and FA0, 23, and 24. So everything's good there. Now let's check port channel 4. That's between S3 and S4. Alright, now we just did that on here. And you notice port channel 4, it says it's in PAGP for FA0, 23, and 24. So if we do a show run there, 23 and 24 the ports we're looking for. And they put it in mode desirable, again, a PAGP mode, so we don't want that. So we'll do no port channel 4, oh, interface port channel 4. Remember, you got to do this first in just the config, uh, global, regular, global configuration mode. Okay. Now we'll do the interface range, FA0, 23 through 24, the two ports we're going to put in there, channel group 1, mode Active. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Don't don't press enter there. Ah, we want to do four. Sorry. Channel group four mode active. Okay. See, it's creating the port channel four there. No shut. I'm gonna turn on the port and the import channel interface. I always forget that port channel four. Now it's going to continue to negotiate here. I'm going to fast forward time a little bit again. Then I'm going to do a do ether channel summary on S3. Show. Oh, I forgot. Do show ether channel. Show Ether Channel Summary. Okay, now I've got 23 and 24 in LACP, but you notice it says it's still down. So that means we need to check the other side. So on switch four, show Ether Channel Summary. 
for looks like we've got too many ports here so they put ports FA0 21, 22, 23 and 24 in port channel 4 so there's something going on there um, alright so let's take those out first um, so we want to do a no port sorry configuration mode no interface port channel 4 okay then we're going to do a interface range FA0 23 through 24 that's the only two we want in there and then we're going to do channel group 4 mode active okay then no shut to turn those two ports back on and then port channel for interface port channel 4 fast forward time a little bit now let's see if we do a keep the channel summary we see we've got LACP and it's up in 23 and 24. Now let's go back to S3. All right, port channel four, now it is up in 23, 24. So it was down because we got four port we had before we fix it, two ports on S3 trying to be aggregated together, aggregating with four ports on the other end. That's not gonna work. So you saw that it was up on one end but down on the other or the way it looked because we hadn't redid it again. So we had to clear out everything again. You always start with the no port channel in regular configuration mode, then go back into the range of ports and then start doing the group mode and channel group mode, then turn it on the ports again, then the interface. So don't forget to turn on the ports again and put it back in the port channel. Okay. Now we'll do port channel 5. Port channel 5 goes from S3 to S2. So we're making our way through. Um, I'm sorry, port channel 5 goes from S1 to S4. I'm sorry. So port channel 5 on S1. So let's do our show ether channel summary. We've got it's down. It's in LACP ports 21 and 22. That is right, but we see it's down there. So let's check our other end, S4. And again, we see there are no ports in it because before, the 21 and 22 were in port channel 4, but that was wrong, right? So I'm going to do no port channel 5, no interface port channel 5. Okay. Now I'm going to restart with interface range, FA0 21 through 22, channel group. 5 mode active no shut interface port channel 5 now on S1 the other end if we did a show run here we'll notice that 21 and 22 are both in active mode as well in group 5 so that should work okay based off, off of our modes. So now if we notice when we do a show ether channel summary, we see port channel five is up. So go back to S4, the other end, do show ether channel summary, we see port channel five is up. So now we just got one more to go. So port channel six is between S2 and S3. So let's look at S3. It is down, but of course is in PGAP, PAGP. So we want to change that, right? So go back to config mode, no port interface port channel six. I'm gonna remember that one day. No interface port channel six. Okay. Then we're gonna do interface range, FA0 21 through 22. Um, channel group six mode active and again if you put one mode one end in active and one mode in passive it will work too um, 
Then we're going to do uh, no shut to turn them back on and import interface port channel 6. Okay. So now let's look at the F4 end for port channel, or sorry, the F2 end. It's going from F3 to F2. Uh, do a show ether channel summary. Okay, and it is 21, 22, and it is up now. And we've got 100 out of 100. So if we redo it over here, do show ether channel summary, we see port channel 6 is up. All right, so we got everything configured correctly. The main things again, making sure they're all in trunking mode, making sure that when you go when you go into show ether channel summary, if you see something wrong, start by doing the no interface port channel, whichever number you're trying to delete out of there. Then go back into the interface range for those two or however many ports you're doing and continuing on. Because when you do show ether channel uh, summary, you want to make sure the correct ports are in there. That there's not too many. Again, you need the same number of ports on each end. It doesn't always have to be the same port numbers like we did here, like 23 to 23, 24 to 24 on each end. But that's just to make it, uh, you know, stupid simple as they call it. Keep it as simple as possible. Um, we also want to make sure they're in the correct mode. So if you see one end in PAGP and one end in LACP, do a show run and you can see what exactly what mode each one of those ports are in because depending on the mode, again, if you use like uh, desirable on one end and active on the other, one end is looking for PAGP and one end is looking for LACP. Not going to work. So for this lab, we wanted all LACP. So you have to keep that in mind as well. Um, and then again, after you do, you clear out the no interface port channel command, then you can go back into the range, set the channel group and the number and the mode correctly, then turn the ports on with no shut, and then do your interface port channel, whatever number you want. Okay? And then of course, again, make sure your, your ports are in trunking mode. All right? So uh, remember, use that legend and show ether channel summary as well to see if it's up or down or what else may be going on. So that concludes this lab. It's 100 out of 100, and hopefully, um, again, that shows you how to troubleshoot it as well as configure it.